we like to talk about uh, how Colombia has been addressing the deforestation issue. What we know is that in Colombia, we can talk about very, very, very low deforestation rates. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, from different studies and from a baseline that has been uh, defined by Colombian authorities, uh, environmental authorities, less than 0.04% oh, of the deforestation during uh, 2011 to 2017 can be associated with power. And in the last uh, measurement we have in 2018, it even came down to less than 0.22%, uh, oh, right? So we talk about very, very low deforestation rates associated with uh, the palm uh, crop in Colombia. And that's also uh, associated with uh, being a member of RSPO and having uh, around 30% of our oil already certified by uh, RSPO or ISCC standards. So we not only have uh, the, 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 the images and, 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 and the studies that demonstrate we're very low deforestation, but we're also doing the job around having certificate uh, palm oil and sustainable palm oil for uh, the, the foreign markets. What brings uh, uh, the, the palm oil starts with formalization, employment, better income, which also brings more investment uh, in, in the areas that were present, which also brings more taxes and more uh, investment in environment. We have some uh, um, authorities, some institutions uh, uh, that work for env environmental purposes that receive this, these taxes. So they have more uh, uh, taxes to do a better job around uh, environmental issues. Of course, we already said that it also brings a reduction of illicit crops and increasing health and increasing education. So this is the, the, the good cycle, the positive cycle that Palm will bring. And this is all when you have a 1% increase in the planting area. Each one of these numbers you can see here in the planted area in, in, in each region.